Good evening and welcome to this short and special Light for Life's service and time to reflect upon this past year. A year ago today, on 23rd of March 2020, we found ourselves at the beginning of um, what has been a whole year of lockdown, restrictions, of suffering, of pain, of um, not being able to spend time with loved ones, of having things that we'd planned cancelled, of seeing loved ones suffer and not being able to be with them. So this special service is a time for us to reflect, a time to mourn, and also a time for us to hope as well. It's a time for us to come together as the people of God and as others as well, to reflect upon this past year and ask for God to be with us as we go into the future, a future we hope free of the effects of COVID and also without the restrictions that we found ourselves in over this past year. Throughout the Christian church, so often um, the church uses the light um, or lights of candles as a symbol of hope. Jesus, after all, calls himself the light of the world. And so tonight we light a candle and we invite you, wherever you are, to light a candle um, and put it on your windowsill. Please be careful though, um, in terms of being far away from curtains and please don't leave them unattended. But you can put it on your windowsill for a short time to help you to reflect upon this past year. And so that's what I'm going to do now and I invite you, if you've got a candle um, there, um, to do so as well. Please go ahead and light that candle as a symbol of hope and in a moment we shall pray together. Let me pray. God of love, we, as we think about all that has changed this year, help us to trust that you are always with us. As we remember those who have died, help us to trust that they are at peace. As we reach out to others with kindness and care, may hope shine out of every heart and every home. Words that often we find comforting in times of sorrow and grief are the words of Psalm 23, so often known as the Lord's my shepherd, the very first words of that song in the Bible. Let me read these words, these well-known words to us, and let them be um, some. Let them bring peace and hope and comfort to you tonight. The Lord is my shepherd; I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. In a moment we'll be praying again, and in this prayer, throughout this prayer a few times, there will be a response for us. The words will appear on the screen. It'll be a sung response. You're welcome to um, sing along or just listen to these words as well. The words were written recently um, by a minister in Airdrie. And let me read these words of this sung response. Lord, you have been a refuge to all who learn to trust in you, offering hope and help, reaching out anew. At this time of darkness when hope seems all but gone, may we see again your light to bring in a new dawn. This response will appear a few times throughout this prayer. But let us come to our God in prayer. Let us pray. 
eternal and everlasting God, who in Christ entered into our world, who walked our streets, who felt our pain, who knows our every weakness. Hear our prayers for others. We bring you family and friends, neighbours and colleagues both far and near to you. As we lament with them in their pain, may they know you're drawing alongside them. Lord, you have been a refuge to all who learn to trust in you, offering hope and help, reaching out anew. At this time of darkness, when hope seems all but gone, may we see again your light to bring in a new dawn. Suffering God, who in Christ embraced the suffering world and continues to embrace all who are suffering, hear our prayers for those whom life is hard and at times unbearable, especially over this past year. We pray for the most fragile and vulnerable, the broken in body and the broken in mind. We pray for the bereaved, those whose loss has been greatest, unable to say their proper goodbyes, deprived of immediate support around them. As we lament with them in their pain, may they know you're drawing alongside them. Lord, you have been a refuge to all who learn to trust in you, offering hope and help, reaching out anew. At this time of darkness, when hope seems all but gone, may we see again your light to bring in. Serving God, who in Christ washed the feet of his friends as a symbol of the one who came to serve. Hear our prayers for those who have sought to serve and bring relief to those who have suffered and continue to suffer. We pray for NHS workers, those in the caring sectors working in hospitals, in care homes and in people's homes. We pray for all who support the bereaved, in the church and churches, in the funeral sector and in so many other places and in other ways. We give thanks for the commitment shown, the words and messages of hope and the practical support given. May they also know you're kneeling with them as they kneel at the feet of many in need. As we lament with those in their pain, may they know you're drawing alongside them. Lord, you have been a refuge to all who learn to trust in you, offering hope and help, reaching out anew. At this time of darkness, when hope seems all but gone, may we see again your light to bring in. Eternal God, who in Christ pointed us beyond this life to eternity and the place he went to prepare for us. We give thanks for those who have trusted in you, who have gone before us, who inspired us both in their living and their dying, in their commitment to you. May we be ever thankful for their presence in our lives and the rich legacy of love that they have left and the example they have given for us to follow. We pray all of these things in the name of the Christ who is the light, the life and the hope of the world, and the world to come. Amen. Let us spend a moment in reflection as we listen to that well-known hymn, It is well with my soul. When peace like a river
Come to me, all who are weary and who are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and in me you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Let us close in prayer. Loving God, as we journey towards Easter, Help us to live as people of hope, knowing that beyond the pain of the cross lies the joy of resurrection life. Inspire us in our worship of you, through our churches and in our homes, that we may bring glory to you and joy to many others. Be with those who are struggling in mind and body or spirit, and give courage to those who are facing uncertainty and change ahead. Help each of us to keep our eyes fixed upon you, that we may reflect your light to all, all whom we meet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you again for joining us here tonight as we've spent some time in reflection, as we've looked to the future and asked God to bless us and given us hope for the future. Please feel free to spend some time after this service just leaving your candle there as a symbol of hope, but please do um, be careful and, and be aware of any fire at risk it might pose. But as you go tonight, may you know the comforting embrace of our God and our Saviour. When anxiety and fear besieges you, may you see the wounded hands of Jesus who embraces you in his love. May the comfort, the peace and the hope of our God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you and all who you love, those near to you and those far away this evening. May it be with you today and forevermore. Amen. May God bless you and may God be with you.